own a point at home tonight. If you can put in a performance like that every week, I'm sure you'd be a very happy man. Yeah, you look at uh, the performance tonight and compare it to the UCD performance, and it's a totally different team. Yes. You know, our work rate was there, closing down, working hard off the ball, working hard with the ball. And I think we got our just rewards in the end with, you know, coming back from 2 1 down to, to get the equaliser. Third draw in four games, are you concerned with that in any way? No, not really. If you look at the four teams we played against, you know, we did say it's going to be a tough start. There are possibly the four teams that will be up to, near the top. We've had Long for the home, we've had Water for the home, you know, a long trip to Cove. And apart from UCD game, I think we've put in good performances in those three matches. Yeah, and the hard, the hard end point away to Cove last week and again tonight. Do you think in hindsight the performance against UCD might have been a wake-up call for the team? Yep, quite possibly. You know, as we said, we can't turn up and expect us to, to win games. And you see tonight we're well prepared. You know, they're mentally they were turned up and mentally they knew that Waterford are a very good side. They have some quality players in it. So they were, they were prepared properly to, to come up and you've seen that in their attitude. And considering that we're down seven players, you know, through, uh, through injury, one suspended as well. So, I mean, the players that were on the pitch and if you look at our bench, we didn't have many on the bench, but yeah. they put in a, you know, a hell of a shift and a good performance. Yeah, you did say we're, we are using more of the squad, you can see that. Is, there, is that the reason why you use that or are you still looking or searching for a certain formation or team? No, I mean, we, we looked tonight, you know, last week we went down to Cove and, you know, the Cove pitch was terrible. We knew we wouldn't be able to play football on it. Um, you know, so it was a case of a battle down there more than anything. Pitch was, was long, it was bumpy, ball wasn't bouncing properly or rolling properly on it. So tonight you look at the pitch, it was immaculate and it was a case of uh, getting players, getting the quality players on the ball and getting them playing. And I think if you've seen young Dale tonight, he was different class. You know, he's only a young lad and this is his first year in, in League of Ireland and, he, you know, he's proven to be a good player. Absolutely, he was. He was. You could really see the energy and work rate tonight throughout the team. But Dale was excellent. Derek Prendergast and Alan Bird as well. Yeah, and Alan is struggling with a, with a knee injury from from last week's game as well. But he, you know, he stepped up tonight because we were down bodies and he filled in and he was excellent tonight. As you say, Derek was very good. And Dale and Adam and, and Jamesy, you know, was unlucky not to get the winner near the end. But I think overall, you know, if we can keep that performance level up, then the results will come where we're winning games. Yeah. Now the first four games have been against the, what we might call the favourite teams. The fixture list perhaps hasn't been kind, but in the next couple of games, do you think there's a chance for us to start picking up points and get a, a win on the board? Yeah. Well, look, I think every game we can we can pick up points. You know, I don't like going into games thinking for a draw or anything that we want to go and win them. We're playing against uh, Athlone next week, who are again another team that got investment this year. But it's you know it's a challenge for the players, and hopefully we'll have a couple of lads back from injury, and we'll have a stronger bench and a stronger team possibly on the pitch. Um, but look, as I said, we enjoyed tonight. The players put a shift in. They're disappointed that they didn't win the game. Um, I thought Dino pulled off some good saves, their keeper pulled off good saves. And I thought overall it was it was a good game to watch, you know, an enjoyable game. So but we need to put in performances like that. Eradicate the mistakes from set pieces, you know, they conceded from two set pieces. Fairness the fourth one, Ada was struggling with his arm and uh, he just lost uh, Brown for the for the header. Normally Ada would be solid in winning them headers. Second one, we lost the fella on the far post. So that's something that we'll walk on, we'll keep walking on and our performances will get better as the season goes on. Great stuff, Alan. Thanks for your time tonight. Thank you. Thanks a lot.